Joining us now, Rangers catcher Jonah Heim, who joins us from the league office headquarters in New York City. Jonah, we appreciate the time. How would you describe these last <laughs> two weeks, 10 days for your ball club? Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, obviously, if anybody's been watching, it's been kind of a struggle for us. Um, just how baseball is sometimes you get in a little slump and um, it's, it's how you get out of it. I think um, we've got the, the right group leading us and we got the right group in the clubhouse to, to get out of this and, and to make a run. Jenna, how are you feeling? How's the rest? I feel good. Um, obviously, it's been a little setback, but um, the, the two weeks off really, really helped energize the body and, and it feels really good right now. Jonah, what did you do? I wrist, wrist ended my career. I mean, I had two wrist surgeries, ECU rupture. What did, what did you do to it? I just uh, kind of tore the tendon sheet off. There you go. You um, better take care of it. Oh, yeah. Nothing little tape can't fix. All right. How much pain are you in uh, if you had to, you know, rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the greatest? I mean, how much pain are we talking about here? Uh, no pain. Okay. Um, from the left side, being the top hand, it's it's really helped. And obviously being a switcher has helped out a lot. And uh, we got a great training staff, so it's it's been no pain and it's had no issues. Johnny, you were talking about going through this difficult time. Um, none better than Bruce Bochy to be your manager to take you through those hard times. But I was just wondering, as a catcher, and Boch was a catcher, I played with him, he was my locker mate mm -hmm. uh, when I was a kid. Um, does that present some challenges when your manager is a catcher, or is he, is he there and really help you out? No, I think it helps. Um, you just have those conversations in between innings and before games, and uh, he knows how to run a bullpen, he knows how to run a fixing staff, so you just have those conversations with him just to little insight here and there and pick his brain. How did, it, how did it feel to be an all-star starter? Uh, it's kind of hard to put in words. It's, yeah. You, you grow up watching, watching baseball and, and loving the game and, and watching the all-star game and hoping to be out on that field one day and, and to have those dreams come true, it's been, it's been pretty remarkable. Jonah, you mentioned your, uh, with your manager, Bruce Bochy, and obviously yourself, experience behind the plate. Um, when I think of catchers today, I think of I think of quarterbacks. I mean, a lot of you, a lot of you guys have the the wristbands. I mean, how, how much of a mental strain is it preparing and executing during the course of a game? Yeah, I think it's that's our biggest obstacle is try to figure out how to get these hitters out. I mean, there's a lot of really good hitters in this league, and you got to try to find holes and get creative in ways to get these guys out. So. Um, our, our days never really stop preparing. Uh, I think we've got three or four meetings during the day, and then I got to do my homework at night. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough challenge, but it's also fun at the same time. Jonah, you're from upstate New York, right? Buffalo area? That's right. Okay, Buffalo or Arlington, Texas. Which weather do you like better? <laughs> <laughs> both, both are tough uh, at times. Uh, definitely Arlington. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we just moved out there, and we love it there. When did you decide to cut your hair and why? <laughs> um, it was kind of a lot of factors leading up to it. Obviously, we know in Texas it's 112 degrees, so it gets a little warm under there. And obviously, playing inside helped, but um, just kind of became a lot of a lot of upkeep. And I think I was in Detroit. I was eating some pizza, and I took a bite of my hair and the pizza, so that didn't help oh. either. <laughs> Hey, work, in, in New up. York, in New York, you got to pay extra for the hair. So you got off lucky. I wash it all the time. Hey, Jonah, I was just wondering, uh, coming into spring training, you knew you had to learn some new pitchers, DeGrom, Heaney, Ivaldi, and now in midseason, uh, Max Scherzer comes to your ball club. How difficult is that uh, for a catcher? Um, I wouldn't say difficult. I think it's just a lot of work. Uh, I think for us, it's more just trying to develop that relationship like become friends first just so we know how they tick and, and how we can talk to them and how we can have conversation with them. So uh, Max has been great. We've, we've had a lot of conversations, how he likes to attack haters and how he likes to pitch. And, and obviously just sitting there and watching his games um, when he's throwing, he's, he's been remarkable for us and can't wait to catch him. Jonah, you obviously have work to do tonight against the Mets, but looking ahead, uh, what do you make of this race between uh, the Rangers, the Mariners, and your in-state rival, the Astros, especially considering how many times you're going to be playing those teams down the stretch. Yeah, I think if you look at it, it's 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 right in front of us to, to take. I mean, we, we play these guys a bunch, and uh, we just got to go out and play good good baseball. Uh, we take it one, one game at a time. We, we play as a team, and we're going to be just fine. What would you have for breakfast, yeah, Jonah? Yeah, we got to ask. Here in New York City, a bagel. <laughs> uh, we were kind of a little, little rough this morning, <laughs> so we door-dashed some
Okay. There you go. Fair. Very right. nice. Fair. Jonah, we appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time, especially on Tell game day. DoorDash. It's huh? never as good as when you order it from the, from the store. Well, I, I don't like... Uh, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I, I've, got, we'll I've, go got I've got, got thoughts. thoughts. Can you guys on... say goodbye to Jonah? <laughs> yes. Let's say thank you. I, I'm trying to, okay. but, but Lauren interrupted. <laughs> Jonah, thank you very much for, for the time. Best of luck the rest of the way, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Of course. Thanks, guys. Got it. That's Jonah Heim.